Hello friends, welcome back to Tech with Viresh. In the continuation to our series on Apache Spark interview questions and Spark interview preparation, today we'll discuss one of the very common and most frequently asked questions that what is the difference between the two APIs provided in the Apache Spark world as reduce and fold. So what is the fold API and what is the reduce API in the Apache Spark world? Uh, we'll look in this video uh, what is the purpose and the problem uh, these APIs are trying to solve and how we can uh, use and leverage these particular APIs and what are the different flavors of these APIs are available in the form of you know fold left, fold right, uh, nascent fold, uh, reduce right, reduce left or only reduce uh, kind of flavors that are available. So guys let's start and before I move ahead I would like to request to all my viewers uh, do subscribe like and comment the videos and uh, uh, we'll be very happy uh, to receive the feedback and the invaluable comments from your side. So guys let's start. So the problem statement which these APIs are trying to solve is that you want to iterate or walk through all the elements in a particular Scala sequence or collection and while you're trading through those elements of a particular connection you want to apply some kind of a function and that function can only be a two argument function which can be applied uh, using a fold or a reduce and this function will work on all the neighboring elements of that particular connection so if this is the problem you're trying to solve then you the solution is available in the form of uh, the APIs provided like reduce left, fold left, reduce right and fold right and also the individual reduce and folds. Uh, these are the APIs used to walk through all the elements in a particular connection and then you can apply any sort of function on the neighboring elements. Uh, the important factor to note here, uh, the, uh, the one of the characteristics of these two APIs is uh, when you pass a two argument function which you want to apply on on all the elements of that particular correction the way invocation happens the way the fold and reduce APIs iterate and invocate themselves recursively the second argument is always the current element of that collection uh, so if if you iterate through any particular correction the pointer will move uh, from say zeroth element to one uh, one uh, first element to second element and like this <coughs> and your second uh, your second argument in that two argument function is always the current pointer uh, 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 the current value where the pointer is pointing uh, in in that particular iterator so let's try to understand it from this particular uh, chart here if we see here if we see that we have a list and on that list we've called four left and uh, before we uh, look into it just want to clear out that uh, the only difference between the fold and the reduce APIs the only difference between the reduce and the fold APIs is that in fold API you can set a seed value and that seed value would always be act and can be used as the first element irrespective of whether you do uh, uh, reduce a fold left or a fold right that seed value will always can be used as the first element now if I try to now if I if I try to run, uh, run through this chart we have applied fold left and if you see how it is working is this seed value is working as the first element and then we have the iterator pointing to the zeroth element of the list and the operation is applied and whatever is the output that becomes in the second invocation as the first argument and second argument if you see here is the next element or the current element of that particular list or collection and this is how entire iteration happens uh, if we see try to see uh, that how the things uh, will be performed under the hood for fold right the similar thing uh, whichsoever is the case seed values always is the first element and then the last element here because now we are iterating to the right to left the last element which happens to be the value 9 uh, that is the that is invoked first and then the result which is yielded by the operation performed 
goes as a first argument and the second argument becomes the next element of the or the current element of the iteration from right to left so guys let's try to look it from uh, an uh, example so what we are essentially trying to do here is we got a small array here with the values uh, 1 2 3 4 5 and let's try to invoke the uh, reduce left this is one of the most explicit way to pass reduce left reduce left where x and y are the two, are the two arguments of the function or the operation that we want to apply and the operation here is the addition so if we run it what we gonna get the value as 15 which is the addition of all the elements in this array uh, another more cleaner way to write the, the same stuff is using this underscore which refers to the accumulator value the yield value from the previous invocation and the current value of the array under iteration so even if we try to run it the values will remain same just another way to write we get the value as as 15 now if we'll try to say th the same functionality using fold uh, using fold we can use the seed value which can be which will always act as the first element and if you see the outcome of this particular API is 35 so in this result a seed value is also added which makes it 35 let's try to understand what is happening under the scene uh, I've written a small function which is trying to find out the max value by comparing the neighboring elements of, of a list and then I'm trying to print at each step at each invocation that what is happening under the hood so if I try to run this particular method this uh, with a reduce left and I'm calling this two argument function which is find max if you see here in, in the prints if you say the first in the first invocation the comparison happened between the first two element of the array the array elements are one two three four five right so we are iterating the element in, in reduce left from left to right so first two elements first two neighboring elements are compared and then whatever is the result yield goes as an input to the next invocation which is two now it is compared to the next neighboring element similarly whatsoever is the result yield goes to the third iteration similarly to the fourth iteration and eventually we got a result in the form uh, which is the output of that uh, operation performed on all the neighboring elements of the collection and we got the value as 5 which is the maximum uh, uh, element uh, maximum value of an element in that array right <coughs> if we try to apply the same uh, 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 same reduce uh, but this time we add a flavor of right we're trying to trade that uh, the array or the list from right to left we can see the operation is performed in such a way they started from the last uh, element which is 5 then jump to the uh, 3 5 is compared with 4 then 5 uh, is the value yield is 5 it is compared with 3 the value yield is again 5 it is compared to 3 it is compared to 2 and eventually we got the same result as it doesn't matter here how we what uh, uh, no, the direction of iteration doesn't matter in when we're trying to find the max value right but but the important point to note is it may happen in in some cases that you know uh, uh, where this uh, you know direction of iteration uh, does matter in that cases we have to be very sure and explicit in terms of whether we want to call reduce left or fold left uh, while in other cases where we are sure that you know the order of traversal doesn't matter in that case we can simply call reduce or fold we don't need to explicitly mention left to right however uh, it, it, it the, the, you know, uh, the direction and, and uh, uh, the sequence operation how it is performed is, is unspecified when we only use fold or reduce let's try to see an example where this direction invocation becomes very important suppose we are trying to call this divide functionality on say this particular array and it will make a big difference the way you you call out this division on on all the elements of this array if I try to do it from uh, left to right I call reduce left and if you see here uh, the one is divided by two first and whatever is the value yield is divided by the current element which is 3 however if I call the reduce right 
on 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 the same uh, array now my output changes here my result was 0.166 however when I change the direction my result also changed so we have to be cognizant to the fact that uh, it all depends on the nature of, of the function uh, whether you have to be explicit and uh, or the order or traversal uh, makes a difference in the output so guys uh, that's it in this particular video where we have tried to see the difference between the fold and reduce and how they operate thanks for watching have a good day ahead keep learning bye bye